The dust settles after Pam's outburst in the Vic, and Bay responds in her typically twisted fashion by increasing the blackmail demands. So Pam makes a risky move to save the business. Will it work? She's obviously terrified that Babe will reveal everything about Christine. Then, to her horror, she walks in on Les dressed as his alter ego. As she falls apart, Les has a heart attack while wearing his flowery dress. The Mitchells week starts badly, but Roxy insists to Jack that she's changed. Yeah, sure. Suddenly, long departed Sam, again played by Daniela Westbrook, arrives for Peggy's funeral. Jack panics to see she's brought their son Richard. Then she reveals Grant isn't coming although Sharon is delighted when Phil shows up. Buster makes a move on Shirley, but when she says no, he asks Kathy to meet him instead. He lays his heart on the line. Do you want to be with me or not? You'll have to watch to see her reply. Next, we check out what's happening in Corrie. Jason's struggling to deal with his dad's legacy. He wants to give it all to David's kids, but is stopped by Eileen and Phelan. Then Gemma warns him that Callum's mates are out for revenge. He's full of bravado. That is until his fan is torched. That's it, he's leaving the street. Meanwhile, Thielen thanks his mate for setting fire to the van. As Jason says his goodbyes, Thielen plans to steal the business, but is fuming when he discovers Jason has signed it over to Eileen. Robert thinks Tracy is crying wolf when she says she has kidney pain, but then she doubles over and needs urgent attention at the transplant clinic. She cancels her appointment to go to Amy's violin recital, without an invitation, we might add, but later collapses. Robert rushes her to hospital, but leaves her crushed when she asks if they can try again. Nick's still annoyed with Leanne and refuses her offer of going into business together, but later he apologises and kisses her. Talk about misreading the signals. It isn't reciprocated, obviously, but she does apologise for messing him around and then decides she needs a fresh career start and resigns from the bistro. Last, we dip into the Dales. Nicola is in danger when a desperate Rakesh decides to torch the mill for the insurance money. She and Jimmy had been enjoying some afternoon nookie, but she returns for her purse just as he flicks the lighter. The mill goes up in a flash, and Rakesh is devastated that people have been hurt, although he's hugely relieved Nicola is rescued and didn't see anything. Dan gets choked up when Nicola thanks him for saving her, but maybe that's premature. She's discharged, then later collapses unconscious. Laurel is in a bind and reluctantly lets Ashley look after Angelica, who soon goes missing. She's furious with him, but relieved when she turns up safe. Ashley tries to make it up to her with dinner, but then absent-mindedly pours her a glass of wine. Duh! Bernice enjoys stolen moments with Andy, but when Lawrence swears he's not gay, she agrees to stay with him. Soon, Lawrence is searching online for Viagra, but are they for Bernice's benefit?